Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the thermal fuse on your dryer. The reason why you might have to do this is because it's failed and you're not getting any heat. For this repair, we'll be using a short Phillips head screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, and a 5 16 inch nut driver. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is our dryer that we're going to be using for this demonstration. It's a Maytag. Keep in mind, your dryer might be a little bit different than what we've got here, but the same technique should still apply. The first thing you want to do is make sure you turn your gas off. So I'll be using a Phillips head screwdriver. And it's our little short stubby guy. Because we're dealing with an awkward angle and not a lot of space. Now that we've got those screws off, we can tilt the front panel forward and those clips will come right out. And now we're going to carefully set this down. We've still got wires connecting the front bulkhead. So now all we're going to do is just unplug these two wires here. And we can set this bulkhead off to the side. So this right here is our thermal fuse. In order to remove it, we're going to first take off these wires. And we can move that off to the side. And now we're going to use a quarter inch nut driver to get this one off. And now this one's a little bit harder, but we can still get the quarter inch nut driver on there. And we can remove that screw as well. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement thermal fuse. If you don't have one already, you can find one on our online store. So now we've got a slot right in here in this panel, and we're going to make sure that the thermal fuse with the back of it, with that piece that sticks out, is going to fit nicely in there. And so we can just stick that in there, and it'll sit in there until we get our screw, and then we can screw it back in. And I'm going to get this bottom screw here started by hand. With it being at such an awkward angle, it's kind of hard to put it on the nut driver and then start it because it goes in at an angle and it gets a little hard to screw in. But you can screw it in most of the way by hand. Then use your nut driver to tighten it all the way. And now we'll reattach these wires here. And now we can hook the wires back up. So we're just going to make sure that we've got the wires in the same arrangement that they were before. Yellow goes on this side. And the blue one goes on this side. Okay. Now go back to the front. And now we're going to want to put the front panel back in place. To do that, we're going to just do the opposite of what we did to take it off. We're going to pick it up and angle it a bit and just tilt it back until you hear both of those clips snap into place. Then you should be able to close it up. And now we can screw the bottom back in. So you're just going to want to make sure your panel's pushed in all the way. And once you do that, you should be able to get your screw started in the hole. There we go. And now we can just screw it back in. And once that's screwed in, you can plug everything else back in and your repair is complete. Now we can turn our gas back on. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCAppliancerepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.